Hi, I'm Mohamed Moti. I'm professor of hematology at the Sorbonne University and Saint Antoine Hospital in Paris, in France. Uh, the CAR T cell uh, field is really moving very fast. We're very pleased that we have already approved products in non Hodgkin lymphoma and acute lymphoblastic leukemia, but we are extremely excited about. I hope the uh, very soon uh, arrival of CAR T cells in multiple myeloma. And we know very well that when it comes to relapse refractory myeloma, we do have today a huge unmet need. Many thousands of patients are really eagerly waiting for the arrival of these CAR T cells because we already know based on the available data from clinical trials with different constructs that these CAR T cells really work in multiple myeloma. We do have an objective response rate more than 90% in general, including some patient achieving MRD negativity, although one needs to be cautious about this issue of MRD negativity, especially when it comes to threshold, when it comes to a single time point measurement. Nevertheless, we also know from the available trials, for instance, the uh, Chinese updated trial, the legend one, uh, the uh, US equivalent of this trial using the same construct, the Cartitude trial, but we also have already the data from the BB2121 construct and many uh, others that those patients who are going to respond are actually going to enjoy an extended progression free survival. Unfortunately, we do not see yet a plateau and there are several explanations for this. First of all, we're dealing with heavily pretreated patients patients have received a median of seven or more lines of therapy, so it would be very difficult to expect maybe cure in such advanced patient. Probably if we move earlier in the course of the disease, things will improve. Currently, the only antigen that is being, I would say, routinely uh, used is BCMA. One option would be to have a sort of a dual targeting using another antigen, combining CAR T cells with available antibodies or with available imids or checkpoint inhibitors. All of these can be uh, new tools to allow to further optimize uh, the uh, efficacy of CAR T cells in myeloma. But in summary, I think CAR T cells in myeloma do work and they are now uh, providing a very attractive and important therapeutic tool for many heavily pretreated patients who are in need of a treatment.